So, <clears throat> wine. In a cat glass. In, in a Field Haven Classics Cats and Cabernet. What did I want? Pussy Pino and passenger cars. <laughs> My idea was better. Um, day four. No fancy hat today. Just this. And if you got a problem with my hat, go fuck yourselves. I mean, seriously, who cares? Goddamn tribalists. <sighs> Going through my my alcohol stocks, and I'm really disappointed because I've got like 18 bottles of Syrah. You know why? Because all you motherfuckers re-gift me Syrah. Nobody likes Syrah. It's not even a petite Syrah. It's just fucking Syrah. It tastes like somebody poured a good Cabernet through garbage, filtered it out, boiled it, and then bottled it. So if anybody wants some Syrah, let me know. What's that? Have you ever met anyone that likes Syrah? Yeah, they're typically older ladies with short haircuts named Karen. Oh. Who burned their tongues when they were kids on an iron or something. <clears throat> so. Coronavirus. I'm here to explain what's going on. <laughs> Which means you're all in deep shit. <laughs> you got no idea. Um, the, the whole quarantine, if you, if you look at this and you were to graph the cases, the number of cases, there's, there's this curve that you see. It's this big bell curve. And you got these people called epidemiologists who work with virologists and, and mathematicians. They look at the number of cases, confirmed cases, people who get it and get better, people who get it and die and they, they can extrapolate that based on parameters of the population they're looking at. And every population is a little different. E Italy is a little different than China is a little different than the United States or Panama. And they can adjust these, these parameters based on each population. Well, what we're trying to do by isolating all of us and having to suck on... Actually, this is not Syrah. This is a, a Cabernet blend of some sort. It's actually quite good. It's about a $150 bottle of wine. And don't think I can afford that. I've got a benefactor that drops off multiple bottles of wine. $150 each. I'm, I'm lucky. What do you guys do when I'm not here, though, to get that wine? None of your business. It's between... The wine always comes when I'm gone. Yeah? He gets eggs for it. They're really good eggs. <laughs> a dozen eggs for a couple bottles of wine. I'm yes. So, <clears throat> if, if we just went about our day, you went to work, dropped your kids off at school, that curve, it would, it would scribe itself. I'm, I'm drawing a, dra uh, a graph, curve on a graph here with my hand. You probably can't see that. See, it goes up, and then it comes down, something like that. And that's over time. I'm looking at the button over here. Now I'm looking at you. Now I'm looking at the button. Now I'm looking at you. So the intention of isolating everybody is to drop that curve down, to flatten it. You've probably heard some people say flatten the curve. That means fewer cases. That's a good thing. Because right now the information coming out about who is affected by this and how bad, it's all bullshit. There's, there's a grain of truth to it, but who knows how much. Originally, it was like, oh, if you were 65, you were fucked. And everybody's like, woohoo, who cares? Fuck those old people. Goddamn boomers. Which I kind of agree with, but... Um, but now they're saying 20 to 54. And I think that's our way of breaking it to us marginally. What so am the I... CDC said half the cases admitted into the hospital were between the ages of 20 and 54. Half, half the cases admitted to a hospital between 20 and 54. I don't know if you can hear that. She whispers. Um, most people live, but they're still sick. Yeah, most people live. But, actually, let's get beyond that. So the intention is to reduce the pressure on the, the hospitals. By dropping this graph, the hospitals are able to deal with who gets it and who shows up at the hospitals. That's all well and good. Our economy is... I'm trying to not curse as much because some of you have ears like the driven snow. It's going to affect our economy. I cannot predict how 
poorly, it's going to do that. I'm typically a doom and gloomer. I, I'm a pessimist at heart. Um, I used to be a nihilist. I went one step further and became an absurdist. And It's like a TV show. <sighs> what else should I say? There's got to be stuff i got to cover. Oh, as a pessimist, I'm actually... Now, this is where the contrarian part, the, the pirate contrarian comes in. Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't. As a contrarian, I am a pessimist. But that, I have trained myself to look for the good because I, I'm a fucking, a, a good miner. I need to see good in humanity because I just, I have a hard time believing it's there. You people have the opportunity to prove me wrong. And God, I am praying for it because... If we don't do what we can to help our neighbors, we're fucked. Sorry, we're going to be in really bad shape. Just edit that part out. Maybe I'll go back and, and beep it. I don't think I can do that. <clears throat> what kind of person are you? This is where we find out. If you're the kind of person that's just taking care of yourself, and maybe to the point where you're screwing over your neighbors, or you're planning to help your neighbors and actively doing it, checking on, on them, seeing what they need. Oh, and for what it's worth, your mother-in-law does not as count as your neighbor, but that's, that's beside the point. Um, please be good people. I know really good people that I adore. I'm not one of them. I'm just sort of a mediocre person. We've discussed this in past videos. I really hope that the majority of you have the means to be good to yourselves and your family and to your neighbors because that's what's going to get us through this shit otherwise it's gonna go poorly see i didn't say fuck i didn't say we were fucked i just said poorly where it's going to go poorly um all of my neighbors i'll do what i can to help you seriously Individually, I love every one of you. I think every one of you is a beautiful human being. Um, collectively, you're all shitbags. But we're all separated into our indiv individual counterparts now. That's great. I am stoked. Yesterday at the bookstore was a little bit of heaven. Truly. I'm hanging out outside right now. Springtime. Look at the flowers on that Brugmansia. Oh my, if things go bad, I got a Brugmansia. You chew on one of those flowers and you are going to get high as you, as high as you can. You'll be running around naked, making love to rocks if you, if you chew on that thing. You, you won't remember any of it, but look at that. Look at the flowers on that. It's extraordinary. Oh, and the fragrance, it's just about to pop. It's, it's amazing. I have a video with him about China being an asshole. China is asshole, but I can't talk about China's asshole constantly. And I gotta talk about stuff like that. What that less than half the cases of death have happened in China? Oh, that, that yeah. Italy, Italy yeah, with China. a population of what thirty million? I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure. But... Something like that surpassed China's population of what four hundred and seventy-seven billion. Maybe it's not quite that high, but not it's quite it, high. not quite that high. No. It's up there. Not quite. Come on, who, who are we fooling? China is asshole. But I want to get back to this Brugmansia because doom and gloom is not fun. So, global warming is not fun either, but I'm pretty sure it's happening because, here, see this thing right here? Right there, I'll tell you, that, that, that's a seed pod. You're thinking, so what? It's a seed pod. I live in Northern California, and that thing should have died to the ground in roughly December. It might have lasted a little bit until January, but it's... It's 11 feet tall. Yeah. You got some ants moving in under your deck. I'll take care of that later. We're, we're not discussing that right now. They're what probably is... Chinese ants carrying the... You could videotape them. That would not be interesting. Oh, ants? I'm not, I'm not much of an entomologist. Oh, God. She's going off on ants. Love you people. Please take care of yourselves and your neighbors. See you later.